Hey everybody, congratulations, you have finished your Humanities Through Film course. Um, we are at the end of it. This is your last video that you'll have to uh, see me on unless you take another history class with me. Um, but I just wanted to wrap up this class with two things. One, just to say, awesome job. You know, this was quite a bit of work and I understand that um, as a Humanities Through Film transfer level course, I wanted you to get as much out of it with as much different genres of film, different ways of looking at film, uh, kind of a chronological way as well, since we are looking at the human story. Um, and we kind of did that, didn't we? Throughout the centuries, uh, we could say plural, because we started in the 1800s through the 20th century, we're in the 21st century, and um, you just did it so well. Um, so you should be really, really proud of yourselves because um, it was quite a bit of writing, a lot of essays, a lot of weekly uh, discussions. Um, and I did that on purpose, so hopefully you're able to start developing some tools for yourselves of academic writing, which are those papers, and sort of free-flowing writing that we do on a daily basis, but still has to, you know, in, in a different level of writing. Um, and that could be your emails, you know, if you're in the workplace, that sort of thing. Um, but how to create a dialogue for yourself of different types of writing. And I saw you all grow that way since I've been reading your stuff from day one till now. Uh, all of you had some good growth. Uh, that's nothing you could teach. That's just practice and repetition of it. Um, and whether you know it or not, you've done it well. Some of you started off with discussions that were very slim. Uh, by the end of it, getting a lot more to, um, a detail in there and showing some examples uh, and some of you just being able to take those the writing in an essay to another level um, and getting packed of information in three pages so great job to you these are skills beyond learning cool things about film and how to see film that's something that you will take with you on all your classes in the job and the rest of your life so continue that skill the other thing I'm really proud of you on is the ways of looking at different film but also the ways of looking at different perspectives so you've been able to interact with very diverse groups of people in your small groups and in the entire class uh, and I see some good relationships even though it's an online class you're just able to grow with some wonderful dialogue with each other uh, so that's been really nice to see so it's been very rewarding even though I'm thousands of miles away um, still being connected to you all through this class has been wonderful. So that leads me to my last thing of, as far as this goes is uh, I'm always gonna be a resource for you. I think of you all as sort of future colleagues in academia. Um, as you continue your journey in academia, whether it's to finish at Shasta College or to transfer to another university or, or whatever, um, please stay in contact if you wish. Uh, be happy to write letters down the road. I've already done that for a few people in the class. Um, and if you have questions about that, I've been part of every California college system, uh, community college, the UC, UC, like California, Berkeley, um, uh, CSU, private schools. So I, I know them all pretty well. I've been on staff. I'm still on staff at, at Simpson University. Uh, so if, you have, if you're transferring just down the road, I'd be happy to help you out wherever you are. Um, so even if you hit some dead ends academically, don't give up. There's ways to push through those, um, and I'm just one of many resources you'll have along the way. So, so just to keep that in mind. Also, um, so as we're finishing this last week, and you finished up Medievalism, and you were able to look at a very quirky movie, but it's a good movie when you have other things going on. Uh, it's just a fun movie, isn't it? Hopefully you're able to have fun with it, uh, see some crazy outfits as Jocelyn's supposed medieval costumes change from sort of an orientalism perspective of, of the Far East to you know something very punkish of the 80s and 90s. Uh, I don't know what her outfits were, but that was medievalism, sort of this recreation of the medieval past. And we do that in all kinds of genres, so it's a good one to end on, I think. Um, your papers on that essay, your last essay is due Friday. You had a discussion due Monday. Um, for a lot of you, you know, if any discussions that you have missed up to this point, any at all, as long as you get them in by Friday, I'll give you some partial credit. So it's better than a big zero. So any work you've missed, get it in by Friday. That'll be awesome. So your final, your final exam is just a discussion. And I'm posting it with this video today. Um, and uh, it's gonna be due Friday. Sorry about the mix up. It was supposed to be go live while I was away this weekend, but my internet 
Uh, I went to Portugal and uh, for an awesome cheap deal, I was going to do some writing over there and get an Airbnb and stay on the beach, which was awesome, but uh, got hit by a hurricane there. So uh, 100 mile all winds and 20 foot waves outside my window. Uh, it was a, definitely an adventure this weekend, but um, internet went out. So uh, so that's, that's why we we're a few days behind, but it's just a short discussion. It's just more fun and for you to sort of recap this whole class. It was a long class. So to sort of think of where you were in the beginning and, and where you're ending now um, and some final thoughts on all that. So uh, my final thoughts too for you is to just continue on. I was in your shoes at a community college and proudly so. And I love the community college. I love Shasta College uh, because you get a diversity of not only students, but faculty, uh, the staff there. And you can grab as much from, you know, and also as little, we all understand, we've all had the bad ones, um, but there's a lot of good people to learn from and to just gain at least one thing out of the class. So this class, what I always try to think, okay, you're gonna learn film, it's a fun class at the heart of it, but what you could walk away from is, is good writing skills. So I, that's one thing. Um, but also for you just to, along the way, to have sort of this basket of academia peoples that you start to fill up in your basket. And as you continue on, you always have those. So, um, you know, when I went to get my, my BA and my MA and now my PhD, I always stayed in contact with my basket of people from Shasta College, from UC Santa Cruz, from Berkeley, from San Francisco State. And those are always people there for you. So build that basket to help you along your way. Um, emulate what you like and, um, and try to not do what you don't like. And that's really good in any field, uh, in anything in life. And that's what I try to do as an instructor. So with that too, as your last discussion, there'll be some comments. There'll be a chance for you to let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. And I'll try to avoid that next time if there's anything you don't like. Um, so just want to be clear about that. As far as you all continue on what you're doing, good luck with everything in your life. Uh, I know a lot of this semester has been crazy. A lot of t turmoil and fires and shootings and people you know, with car accidents and all that stuff and just family things that come up. But beyond all that, you did it. You finished this class and that should be something you should be very proud of. Um, so even if you're in that D and F range where, you know, you can always retake it. Um, I teach this again in the spring and you're more than welcome to give it a second go and you'll be fine. Um, but those that are moving on with the other classes, I wish you the very best of luck. If you need a history class, I am teaching a expediated, uh, very fast paced uh, world history class next term. It starts, I think at the end of February and it ends in March. Um, there's still some room. Uh, you're welcome to try to register that if you, if you wish. And I'd be happy to get you enrolled in that. Um, but uh, do stay in contact. All the best to you. Have a very Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful holiday season here um, as we're finishing out on Friday. And uh, just have some good time to refuel yourself, to re-energize yourselves for all what's happening in the new year. And I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for your wonderful uh, interaction in this class. And we'll be in touch. Bye-bye.